Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, November 5th. And I'm sitting right here on Cherry Ridge again this morning. Same spot I sat yesterday and actually got... Let me fix my focus here. Okay. It's the same spot I sat yesterday and uh, <clears throat> got skunked. This is just such a good rut spot, and I know it proves itself year after year. When uh, big deer are on the edge of these bedding areas looking for a hot doe, they go right by this stand. It's an easy spot to get in and out. You know, I don't have to go too far in the woods and uh, risk messing anything up. There are two deer that are spending a lot of time down in here that I would shoot. Uh, I just need them to come by. We got a wind right out of the south. Pretty warm again this morning. Didn't see much activity last night on my cell camps, really. We'll stick tight and uh, hopefully we see a few deer this morning. It's a good start to the morning, which just had a little spike come right by us. Much better start than yesterday.
it's just about 11 o'clock. I think we're gonna raise the white flag and go check our traps. All I ended up seeing this morning was that spike right at first light. It's very, very slow. Very, very slow. I'm not sure what the game plan's gonna be this afternoon, but hopefully we get into something. Okay, we're out on the trap line and I kind of reset this trap right here to just kind of force these critters, you know, in from this angle. I've got a dirt hole with bait in there and a trap bedded right there in front, obviously. And then we've got some cat food for our coon sets. coming around and checking some of these trail cameras and came up the edge of our property line here and go figure it's another tree stand sitting right here looking at uh, the property line right where the deer come out to the food plot up here can't win with these anymore it's like ridiculous obviously there's all the corn a lot of the deer come up through right here and he's obviously going to be hammering them on the way to my food plot but it is what it is that's just anymore I think what it comes down to is these videos just kill me when it, it's unbelievable you know the whole entire all our property is literally lined with tree stands everywhere and you know, this one's specifically cutting deer off right to the food plot up here. And there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. I guess next year I'm just not gonna have any food up here and try to get it all down below. Uh, you know, I'm just setting this up on a silver platter for whoever put the tree stand up right there. And they can come in the backside and cut everything off on the way. frustrating you know you put a lot of time and effort and thousands of dollars into making everything what it is and for for whoever wants to get in on it I guess we're gonna try the decoy out the stakes. Just got a brand new shipment from Wyoming County Whitetail with some buck and rut urine. Everybody, we made it into the stand finally. I had kind of a crazy evening so far. I was planning on hunting the creek bottom, 
this evening and I was start I was getting like middle of the day getting some really weird trail cam videos of deer running as if they were spooked. I thought that was odd. And uh, I was heading to town and there was a truck park next to the creek. And it looked like a family went kayaking right down through Cherry Ridge and uh, obviously spooked all the deer. Deer were running everywhere. I got the drone just to make sure it wasn't somebody hunting or something or trespassing. And they would look like they were out on a leisurely kayak. I'm sure that whoever it is, they're not hunters, so they wouldn't understand that kayaking through a creek bottom on November 5th probably wouldn't be good for the landowners, but I'm sure that you know they didn't have any ill will by what they were doing. Although it did make deer just go freaking running everywhere. They spooked a ton of deer out of there, unfortunately. But anyways, I went over to uh, my buddy Jared's place and got his decoy. We're set up up here at our upper farm. We've got a stiff, heavy wind out of the south. I actually used the wind cover and just drove it down here. And I got a brand new shipment of Wyoming County whitetail buck urine. I uh, put a bunch on his butt, as you guys can see. We're gonna stick tight and hope that uh, Lefty shows up tonight. It'll be cool to capture an interaction with a deer in this decoy. Oh. There's a freaking deer out already. Are you kidding me? I just got here and just left with a gator. I uh, made him a half rack so he doesn't look so intimidating. I've got him right here at 20 yards. I wanted to put it in front of this trail camera right here just to capture if a deer did interact with it. There's a huge scrape right there at that hanging vine. Had a lot of uh, bucks daylight on that. Lefty hasn't though, which has been odd.
well, we had that same little half, half rack six point that I saw last night chasing Dell up across the top edge of the field. Got a bunch of fawns out in the food plot. Three fawns out here and no adult does, so that tells you something. There's that mature doe, finally, out in the plot. Sounds like an Amish buggy's jamming out on the road up there. Playing some music. Boy, that doe's looking back really hard. Like something might, something else might be coming out over there. I'm at a rock concert. Versus half rack, here we go. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed.
useless dose. Wow, that was absolutely perfect, how that buck reacted to that decoy. He marched straight up to it and circled downwind of it, but I mean, I would have had like the easiest 22 yard shot ever. That was cool. He's chasing them does all over the place now. I was hoping he was gonna <laughs> take it out. We were gonna have a half rack battle right here with the decoy. We're back to the house and our dinner segment, grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. Kaylee will be getting back from work uh, any minute now, but I'm gonna wrap up tonight's hunt. That decoy was a lot of fun to hunt over. That buck really bristled up and came walking up there like he meant business. It was really, really pretty cool. And quite frankly, it, you know, it provided me, had that been a, a deer I wanted to kill, uh, easy 22 yard shot where all his focus was on that decoy i could have been moving around and drawn and you know everything without him even paying attention to me he was so upset at that decoy so it's certainly something i'm going to try uh to do a few more times this is the time of year to do it there obviously that buck i think was aggressive because he already had one side broke off so that tells me he's an aggressive deer and uh he won't turn down a fight but anyways i'm going to be back after him in the morning Thanks for watching, and I want to send uh, Jared a thanks for letting me use his decoy. That was a lot of fun. Take it easy, everybody.